Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany. Um, if you are new here, thank you for stopping by. On my channel, I do wig reviews, hair reviews, I do some makeup content, and I do some fashion here and there. Um, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. So today I'm gonna be doing my May favorites video. I have a little bit of everything kind of mixed up in here. Um, I have a few wigs on this list. I have some makeup and a few other things, and we'll get to that in a second. But before I get into my favorites, I did wanna shout out a company. This company is called Royalty DNA Beauty. This is a new black female owned online beauty supply store. Um, the founder is Sheena, AKA Queen She. Um, she's actually like, she's actually a YouTuber. I collaborated with her a few years ago. She's starting this online beauty supply store so shout out to her for doing that um her company is going to launch on june 15th so i'm just going to give you guys a little bit of information about her company so the mission is to bring quality and high-end products at a reasonable price um and to impact and connect with people from underserved communities and to help send underprivileged youth to college their nonprofit subsidiary is Tommy and Virgil White Foundation um, College Scholarship Fund and a portion of every sale goes to that fund. Um, so a portion of all the sales will help send underprivileged children to college. So I think that's really cool that she's doing this with her company. They're gonna be selling wigs from brands like Janet Collection, Zuri Sis, Main Concept, and some other brands as well. For business and everything that they get, they're gonna expand the kinds of things that you see on their website. Um, and they'll also have a loyalty rewards program um, for returning customers and a competitive affiliate program for influencers like me. There's gonna be more information for you guys to comb through in the description box if you wanna know more, just look down there. Um, she actually has an Instagram page as well, so I'll put that down below as well. So check them out, shout out to Queen She for launch and congratulations on starting this new company I go ahead and get into things that I loved in the month of May so for my birthday I got a planner card for my birthday and if you guys are unfamiliar with my obsession with planning and everything it started at the beginning of uh, 2019 at, toward the end of 2018 I actually have my own channel now that's specifically for all of my planner content I did do like three or four, uh, three or four videos on here but then I just feel like I want my beauty channel to stay beauty and then have a separate you know planner channel my planner channel is called hearts in a plan we have about 350 subscribers right now so if you're interested in learning about planning and stuff like that you can head over there but definitely follow me on my planner Instagram page because I have um, it started in January and I have 3,000 followers on there and I'm going to be doing a giveaway soon on that on that page so follow me on there my planner cart is just so cute I store all of my sticker books and markers and all the planners that I have on that cart I only have one um, people that have been planning for a long time they have like multiple ones but I didn't want to get more than more than one because I didn't feel like I needed it just yet. Um, I'm from Michaels and I do have a video on my Hearts in a Plan page if you guys want to watch that video. I give you a tour of my planner card so check that out if you're interested. Some people have these same carts and they use it to store their makeup or like hair stuff. They, they put a lot of different things on these carts but I use mine as a planner card. thing is the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit here. So I featured this pencil in a haul that I did at the, at the beginning of May and I told you guys that Benefit sent me this one and the Goof Proof and the Goof Proof pencil. Um, I think they sent it in April or so. So I have been using this for these pencils for about two months. I really like the Precisely My Brow pencil more than the Goof Proof. I feel like the Goof Proof is a little bit too wide and I feel like you have a little less control with the the precisely my brow I feel like you have a little bit more control because it's so small Goof proof pencil it's like a lot thicker so this is probably more beginner friendly I, 
I feel like both of them are beginner friendly. I just feel like this one's a little bit too thick for me. Both are nice, but I do prefer the Precisely My Brow pencil instead. And I use the color um, 3.75, which is warm brown, if I'm not mistaken. I just bought another one. Now, these are like $24 and it lasted about two months. So I feel like that's pretty good. So I went out to Ulta yesterday and bought, no and bought another one. So the 3.75 is warm, medium brown. So I do highly recommend um, this brow pencil. And I've been getting a lot of compliments um, on my eyebrows, like when I upload pictures and, and stuff on Instagram. People will be like, your wig looks nice, but your brows though. And I'm like, thank you. So um, that is what I've been using for the last two months or so. So the next item is going to be a makeup item and it is this brush from Moda. This is the dome eyeshadow brush. This brush is dirty right now because I actually used it, but um, it has like a unicorn tip. This came with a set though, but I'm sure they sell like individual dome shadow brushes. I don't just use this. I actually don't use it as a shadow brush. This is a, a nice like densely packed short um, brush nice and fluffy brush I am using it to um, after I have like put foundation or concealer around my brows I go in and I just smooth it out with this brush it helps fade it out really nice in between and underneath and just blend it out instead of using a, a beauty sponge you can clean up your brows really well and blend out your concealer around your brows with this brush or or if I'm doing a, a cream contour, I'll get, I'll put like a, a cream concealer and stuff in this area around my nose and stuff. And then I'll just blend it out with this kind of brush. If I have a link to where you can purchase this particular brush or, or one that's similar, um, I'll put that in the description box for you guys. So the next item is going to be, um, the Curls Curls Melissa wig. Now, when I reviewed that wig at the beginning of May, I wore it like three or four times like after the review. I don't do that with my wigs, um, especially human hair wigs. I usually don't wear them a whole bunch like after I review them just because for, for the sake of convenience, I like to wear synthetic wigs when I'm just like trying to go to the store, when I'm trying to go to the post office. I don't want to have to glue down a hairline or anything like that. But with the Curls Curls wig, it was just, it, it's just so beautiful. The curl pattern is gorgeous. Um, now, it did puff up a lot, but that's how natural hair is. Um, so if you don't want it to puff up, you're gonna have to, you know, put, certain hair products to weigh it down a little bit so it doesn't poof up so much in this this heat so um i am gonna do a one month update where i style it differently than just the wash and go that i tried originally i'm probably gonna do like a twist out or something but that's really one of the best curly wigs i've ever tried i think it's absolutely beautiful um and when that that first day that i wore it i, I went outside and was taking pictures and I was just amazed because a lot of times with uh, frontals and all that kind of stuff, they look good indoors in front of a window. But once you get outside, they don't look natural. You can see like the, you can see the lace, but this one melted so beautifully. Um, some people, I have seen people comment on certain, on certain videos that theirs shed, but I washed my natural hair this morning before I started recording. And my hair sheds a lot. Like, I had a clump of hair after I, I had a clump of hair about this big after I combed out my natural hair. So I'm like, I do think it's gonna shed. Um, I don't think it's gonna get, I don't think it's gonna be completely bald or anything like that, but shedding is something that's, that's gonna occur with this particular wig. I'm gonna give you guys an update, so just look out for that. It's gonna be up in a couple weeks or so while we're still on the topic of wigs i am going to feature the city beauty world um isioma wig again and i know you guys are tired of hearing that but that's one of the best braided wigs i have tried so far and I, so far i think i've tried like four or five by this time um 
and that was not like a sponsored video I actually bought that wig myself back in November and here it is six months later well now it's seven months six or seven months later still looks good I still love it and every time I wear it I just feel like I look so like youthful and I don't have to spend hours in a shop get my hair braided I can just make sure I have that applied really well and um, I really love that wig. So if you're looking for a really nice box braid wig, head over to City Beauty World, watch my original review, watch my update from a few months ago, and um, I'm just, I just love that wig so much. I am gonna do some more braided wig reviews for you guys in the future, um, in the near future, because you guys really like when I do braided wig reviews. Like I was just looking at um, how some of my videos were performing and I saw that you guys like those even the ones I didn't really care for so that side part cornrow wig I was not here for it um, But it got like pretty good views like pretty good views for my channel So um, I'm gonna try to do more for you guys very soon and lastly I wanted to mention the dr. Bronner's um, lavender soap that was in my haul that I did at the beginning of May and it's almost gone like I only have like this much left I have used it to I mixed it in to wash my face and my face felt so clean and like fresh because it has that uh, lavender in it I use it to wash my body every day and I washed my hair this morning and I mixed it in with my shampoo and my scalp and everything just felt clean and I have used it to clean my shower so it's a organic soap um, and it has just so many uh it's a very multi-purpose kind of soap so um you get a lot of it i think it's 32 ounces this is in a bottle that's about this big and i use it for everything so i highly re I, I would highly recommend checking that out if you haven't and just a little update on my organic or natural deodorant journey i talked about this last summer I had to have surgery on my left breast because I had two benign cysts in there. I think it's called, it's called fiber adenoma or fiber adenoma. And I had to get those out. So I have like scars on the sides of my, of my breast. And well, the doctor, she told me that a lot of that can come from, you know, all the chemicals and stuff that you get in your deodorant. So. I had known about this in 2015 or 2016 because I had my surgery last year but I had it in there for in my breast for a long time so um I got it out last summer and I was like I'm never trying Dove or anything again but the bad thing about that is it is 90 degrees in South Carolina and in a lot of places it's super hot and those natural deodorants suck like I don't care what anybody says I have tried so many different brands when the going gets tough with this heat you don't want to be stuck with a natural deodorant because they don't work um, now you could I guess you could change your diet and all that kind of stuff um, but from from what I've tried a lot of them do not work really well so the other day um, I had on a cotton t-shirt and I had on natural deodorant and it was 90 degrees outside and that deodorant sucked. It did not hold up. Um, I had on my Tom's natural deodorant and I've been using that for a long time. So I was at my parents house so I just used some of their like cucumber scented dove and that was holding me up in this heat. So my new thing that I'm going to do is when I know I'm going to be outside and going places um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna go back to Dove because it works but I work from home and pretty much most of the time I'm at home I'm gonna wear my natural deodorant so I'm gonna give it a balance because I cannot be caught out here slipping you know being musty and stuff so that's gonna work for me because I've tried a whole bunch of different brands and I don't uh, and certain fabrics smell certain fabrics are going to um, you know emphasize mustiness like you know that fabric with kimonos and stuff those are terrible with natural deodorants so if I want to wear a you know a cute kimono or a chiffon take a, a chiffon material top or something those natural deodorants are 
just not gonna work well with that so I'm gonna use Dove on days that I'm going out and stuff but if I'm just staying home natural deodorants I just want to give you guys an update because that it's just been a frustrating journey like right now I'm going grocery stop I'm going grocery shopping and while I'm there I'm gonna pick up some Dove because it worked um but I do understand why people want natural deodorant because you know I had to get surgery because um she said that can happen when you use certain deodorants you get you can get growths in your breast and stuff like that which is scary um but there's got to be a balance i'm just gonna try to balance out everything so i know that was long and i was talking a lot but um i just wanted to tell you guys that so we have a lot of things coming up on this channel um i've just been planning out all of my content I'm gonna start up the synthetic wigs one-on-one -on -one series again. I still have all those responses of the kinds of videos you wanna see in that series on my community tab. A lot of you guys like wrote what you wanted to see, so I'm gonna try to address those in those videos. Um, I have the Juvia's Place Foundation review coming up soon. Um, and I have some braided wigs coming for you guys, so. A lot of things are coming up on my channel please make sure you are subscribed and that your notifications are turned on so every time you so every time that I do another upload you are informed right away um, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel if you didn't know already I did get my plaque um, I took a picture of it but I wanted to show you guys on camera so here is my my 100k plaque you guys are gonna it's gonna blind you guys but it says, presented to the Hearts and Cake 90 for passing 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So this arrived in the mail, and I'm sorry I'm blind to you guys. But um, yeah, thank you guys for supporting me all these years, especially the OG subscribers. But shout out to all the new people who have subscribed recently. I appreciate you guys as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.